If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. And if you're able, consider supporting me on Patreon or Coffee. Links below. Thank you for your support. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Dwarf Stories. In the previous episode, we got started on level 2. And we fought the Psychic. And in today's episode, we're going to take on this person, Rex. That's my name. My dinosaurs and I will stomp you. Beat me five times in your dreams. Alright, let's duel. Rex's turn. Field transform to wasteland. Field powers rock, dinosaurs, and zombie class monsters. Okay. So... Oh. Um. The details. Oh, you are dinosaur. Okay. One offering required. Gotcha. We land curry. Okay. Attack that. Oh no. <laughs> That's right. What is it? Uh, fiend? Fiend beats dream. Right. Okay. Shoot. Well. Hmm. Well, it kind of screwed that up. Alright, well, I'm gonna jump ahead. So you can know if I lose this match. And with that, I was murdered. <laughs> uh <laughs> the best, right? I'm here anytime you wanna lose. Alright, um <sighs> Well that's fantastic. <laughs> Let's see, details. Plant winds. Um Okay. I'm gonna see if I can make some light types because it seems like um his creatures, they're all dinosaur class, obviously. But they're either fiend type or they're earth type. So I think what I need is a mix of wind and light. I don't have that many light types, so I'm going to see if I can construct some light types. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks like I can't make any uh, light types or wind types for that matter. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is the first ever grinding of this series. Um, so I'm gonna use uh, Yugi to grind for card parts. And uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fight him a bunch of times, get some card parts, and then uh, I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, so <clears throat> I beat Yugi of like three times. And I can make this light type. It's not super strong, but it will definitely help. Uh, and hopefully I can make some more. Oop, that's Pyro Earth. Uh, you know, it might just be helpful. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no. His cards are really tough. Never mind. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make some more cards, and then I will be back. Alrighty. So I made some cards. I fought Yugi a few times. Uh, so I hope. <laughs> I really hope this does something. Let's see. Uh, that's not gonna do us anything. Um. I think what is it dream the problem with the dreams uh is that um brain work with me here uh is that they're beaten by fiend and so i'm kind of on the fence because it's like i do have a couple of um dream types that are really strong however you know there is the problem that if they um, come in contact with a dream type, 
they will be destroyed. And so that's something that I'm, I'm kind of trying to balance here. Like, here we go, Thunder Dreams. Um, uh, I think, honestly, we're going to have to return that one to the chest. So, and then uh, if we go back here a few spots, go all, oops, um, we can see that we now have this guy, who is a machine wind, a little on the weak side, but the fact that he can just instantly take out um, the, oh, and then of course, Puppet Rex, I'm not sure if I showed him off yet. Um, but, you know, power doesn't matter when it comes to, um, you know, the type advantage. Because the type advantage is just like, oh, well, it doesn't matter. Um, see, here's the thing. Um, I kind of... Uh, can we do that? Oh, shit. It's a forest type. No! Oh, and I had a pyro in my hand. Oh my god. Okay. I think I'm going to commentate this round. Um, good lord. Just swings right out of the bat. Okay. Um, Earth type. And... Son of a bitch. Um, do I have any other aquas? Or not aquas. Wind types? Nope, not in my hand. It is 18 attack, so I'm going to drop that down. And then... I want to get rid of these two cards, because they're not going to help, like, at all. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, in turn... Let's see, Earth beats Thunder, so I don't have to worry about that type advantage. Um, and of course, because my defense does not have type advantage. Um, I don't. Oh, that's the card I forgot to remove, but I can't right now. Uh, it's a zero cost card, but it does nothing. Like, absolutely friggin' nothing. Um, here's the thing. Thing. He didn't attack with that, which means either it's weak to Pyro, which is a possibility, or um, it's just got lower attack, which is 100% possible. Use Beast Fangs, power up Mega Lowser. Mega Har Har and now he can attack. Larvas is forest. Ah, two Larvas. That's why he didn't attack. Ah, oh, shit. What? It, it's 800 a pop. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is not good. Uh, do you have a... Oh, I already put you in defense. I can't. Never mind. Oh, man. Rex is stupid strong. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I guess I'll... And then 1,600 damage gets just piled onto me. Oh, my God. He special summoned something. Uh, shadow, forest, earth, earth. So I had a wind type and then I just completely botched it. Okay. Uh, defend. I mean, not that it matters because I'm dying this round anyways. It's like, I put more wind types in. It didn't matter in the end. Uh, because I did not play my hand right. Yep, there you go. And defeated. 
I think we had... Did we even have one victory? I'm not even sure. He might be so strong that I might have to choose a different opponent. We will have to see. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to commentate this duel too. Uh, Aqua. So we have Forest. We have a very strong wind. And we have you. I'm going to put you in defense mode. And then I'm going to use uh, the curry just in case. Uh, I do have that really strong wind type that hopefully I will be able to summon at some point. Uh, field transform to wasteland, powers up rock, dinosaur, and zombie, but doesn't depower any other types. That, I believe, is a fiend. Right? Yep. He's fiend. He's really strong. And there's fuck all I can do. Alright. Uh, nope. Let's not sacrifice our wind. Let's sacrifice that. God, it was like... Last episode, we didn't have that much issue. This episode, we have a lot of issues. <laughs> uh, forest. Win, win, win. <gasps> Earth! We can take care of that. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> oh, he's so going to die next turn. <laughs> oh. Door faces turn. Uh, we have the light type. We have a fiend type. I'm going to use the fiend to figure out what that is. It's strong. Crap. It's Earth. Okay, that's why I didn't attack. So we can attack with you. Oh, okay. Two head. Could be either Fiend or... Okay, it's Earth. Okay. So... Let's use wind to attack. Take him out. As long as we have a wind type on the field and in reserve, and then the light type on the field and in reserve, I think we should be good. Um, if I can get that, nope, I can't get that light replaced. Okay. Um, Forest, where do you? You are Earth. Um, that wind we could upgrade. So let's do that offer. You. And let's attack with you. We have a huge power advantage. And type advantage. So that's good. I think honestly the whole thing about this is that we've got to make sure that we have the right things in play. Mm, I'm going to attack with the lower one first. All right. Good choice. Good choice. You know, I'm always concerned that a forest type is going to appear out of nowhere. And if it does, uh, I don't think the AI is smart enough to lay a trap. But I am concerned about if it does get smart. <laughs> you know? Talk with you. It has only been throwing down earth types. And I think maybe that's because it's got a bad hand right now. Uh, but I am taking advantage of it. Uh, it doesn't have dark hole. I know I have dark hole in my chest, but I haven't been able to use it. And I haven't been able to check if I can use it. And most importantly, I've not been able to uh, do multiplayer rounds with myself uh, to artificially increase my. Uh, Duelist level. So your earth type. Um, yeah, let's just get you destroyed. So it seems like most dinosaurs are... Uh, like if it's a standard dinosaur, it's an earth type. If it looks funky, then it's a uh, fiend. I, I lost impossible. Let's see you do it again. Uh, got a card part and you get stop defense. Uh, locks opponent's cards on attack. Okay. Um, 
hopefully I can start using some other cards now. Dinosaurs are invincible. You really are, I swear. Um, do, 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 abyss flower. I'm gonna take some time to look through my deck and get rid of high power cards that I don't need. And I will be back in a moment. All right, I shuffled some. Th blah, 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 blah. I shuffled some things around in my deck, and um, put that in defense mode. And I think I have a a decent deck now. Um, I have some cards that I can't use. I have a handful of cards I can't use because of my mysterious duelist level. Hmm, yes. Um, and it's just like really stupidly frustrating. Um, but, um, uh, that's right. But I do have you, which is a card that I made. Um, and I was low on I needed two more cards to make my deck legal so I threw back in the useless dark magician summoning ritual of Valhalla or whatever um, and um, I will probably oh uh, I don't know I uh, just things also what oh it's aqua Okay, well, I shall defeat you. Hmm, yes, indubitably so. Uh, but anyways. So, I have two wind types on the field. And I have a fiend type. Um, and I'm hoping to uh, cause some pain real soon. Let's see, shadow, fiend beach, dream. And shadow beats light. Okay. Uh, I, have, I have the type chart thing that I looked up a few eps ago, episodes ago uh, up on my phone so I can just be like, hmm, yes, okay so, yes, oh, yes oh my god, again alright, fine wait, hold on, what beats the, uh, oh, thunder beats water and I don't have any thunder types, I took them all out because of the earth types in the enemy deck um, what do you got? Aha, I see. Uh, fire beats forest. Uh, do, 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 do. wind, wind, earth, forest. Um, I, I'm gonna offer you. So I can bring you out. And you're okay. You're two thousand. So let's attack, shall we? There we go. And then I'm gonna keep my fiend in defense position just in case something strong comes by. Uh, oh damn it! A forest type. Um, really took out my strong one too. Jesus Christ. Uh, 800. Alright, um. Fiend, wind, forest. Yeah, I'll put you down. And I'll attack you. I'll finally reveal. Oh, actually, he already knew what that card was because he tried attacking it first turn or two. So now we got to be careful because uh, he might start getting his forest types out. Uh, yep, he's getting his forest types out. Okay, son of a B. <laughs> I was really debating on whether or not I wanted to swear, and then it just. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Um okay. Let's I'm gonna 
offer you up. I'm gonna put you on the field. Uh, cause I know... I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any wind types. So I'm not worried about these creatures being destroyed by type advantage. Although I do know that he has some pretty tough cards, like that one. Fantastic. And I don't... Uh, wind... Fiend... I do have that. Um... You know, I think I might... Mm, I'm gonna put both of these in defense. And hopefully... He does not hurt my butthole. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Perfect. Alright. Um I just need to swing with one of these guys. There you go. Boom! We defeated him. Okay, we got really lucky that time around, because he did not get a lot of his good cards. I lost impossible. Let's see you do it again. I will do it again. And again. And again and again. Uh, anti raigeki redirects thunder to destroy enemies. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's uh, beat him a couple of times, and I will see you guys uh, after the fact. So, something I just learned is, for some reason, in this entry, if you can only lay one trap card for starters. Uh, which is kind of weird because we do have, uh, I guess all that real estate is used for card art. Um, hmm. But yeah, you can only have one trap card uh, active per turn. And it goes away at the end of the turn if it isn't activated. So that's really weird. That's an odd design choice. But then again, it is the Game Boy Color. You know, they have a lot of information to, you know, display. So, I guess it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I'm like, that's a weird design choice. Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess part of me is a little bit spoiled from the GBA games, because I know I, I've shown off one of them. Um, oh, excuse me, but I haven't shown off all of them. I think I did a video essay on... Um, the digital Yu-Gi-Oh games uh, up on my video essay channel, um, but um, I don't know. My mind just went blank. Um, but yeah, something, something. Uh, because of the GBA's real estate uh, screen, real estate. You, you can actually like play Yu-Gi-Oh proper with like a whole row for your trap cards and spell cards that you want to put aside um, and all that fun stuff. Uh, I think eventually I will get around to Let's Playing Eternal, Eternal Duelist Soul because uh, that is my favorite of the Yu-Gi-Oh GBA games. Um, so hopefully I get around to doing that. I'm not entirely sure if I will, though. Um, but we will have to wait and see. Um, also, uh, nope. Let's offer to summon you. And then we'll use you to destroy the dinosaur. Kind of looks like Barney, which is weird. Barney the Dinosaur. Classic children's show. Um, but there we go. We've won. I lost impossible. Let's see you do it again. So I think we either have two or one. One or two battles. Uh, left to do. So uh, I will see you guys after that fight. Or those fights. Who knows? <laughs> And with that, uh, that was the easiest duel against Rex ever. Uh, he seemed to just have, like... 
Oh, okay. We have to find him, I think, one more time. Uh, he just couldn't get any cards out whatsoever. Damage! Opponent's life points minus 200. Uh, I can just tell that the cost being 150, we can't use it. We're getting such, like, large card costs that are, like, going to be above our duelist level. I think they kind of expect you either to grind to get card parts and all that stuff, or um, to play multiplayer with a friend to increase your duelist level. Because um, when I did all that research in the duelist levels, you get a lot more points for doing multiplayer than you do the main story, uh, which is pretty interesting. My dinosaurs are invincible. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. All right. So I think this is the final battle. Uh, so we're gonna cut ahead. Yeah, so never mind. I just lost. <laughs> He got a good hand right off the bat. He got his like super strong fiend and I didn't have a single light type that I could summon. <laughs> yeah, bitch, I right? am here. Anytime you want to use. Shut up. Okay, this we had a repeat of a of an easy duel. <laughs> he just couldn't put anything down worthwhile and I also opened up with my uh 2000 uh power pyro. And that was it. That was history. Five times the last five times. I won't forget this. You won, so you get a card part and you get Curse of the Millennium. Offer one eye dragon, etc. And it doesn't exactly explain what it does. Uh, but that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time. Um, you know, Rex was such a pain. I might. Hmm. I don't know. I think we might just continue the trend of going down the line. Uh, if I remember, I will try, keyword try, to do some grinding off screen. Not 100% sure. Uh, but that is going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. And if you're able, consider supporting me on Patreon or Coffee. Links below. Thank you for your support.